Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Steven from Shock Extreme Productions and I have another movie review for you guys today. And this one is going to be for Undead Video. Anyway, my boy Johnny Dickey, really good friend of mine. Um, same guy who's responsible for having the YouTube page Horror VHS Music, which I'm sure many of you guys know. Um, if you don't know, I'll put the link to the description below. Uh, for any of you guys that like uh, VHS updates, Horror VHS updates, um, Horror VHS Music, music from old uh, Horror VHSs. Um, and also the same guy who directed Slaughter Tales, he came out with his second movie not too long ago entitled City of the Dream Demons, and I'll be reviewing that for you guys today. Um, but for right now, I don't have a physical copy with me. Um, he actually sent me the link online to it, so, you know, I'm not going to have any copy with me. But once there is a distributor and once there is a release date for it, I'll be putting up another video giving you guys the details on when it will be released, when the pre-orders will start. Um and where you could find it, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But, City of the Dream Demons, let's get into it. The basic plot is about this kid named Tommy who's having his 16th birthday, and the day of his birthday is actually the anniversary of when his dad passed away, and his birthday is not really the best time for him, not the best time for his uh, mom, um, and he basically is, the day's not really going that well for him, but he eventually meets up with his buddy Spat, played by Joe Davalos, who is, um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right, but another guy who appeared in Slaughter Tales. Um, they go out and they pretty much just want to have a regular birthday party, you know, drinking party. Um, and they eventually meet up with other people, you know, saying, hey, this party's going on, come by. And, you know, a lot of people I recognize from this one, uh, Joshua D. Bruce is another guy, the guy who's making Burn in Hell, another friend of mine. Um, so they end up planning this party, they end up having it, and at the same time there are these dream demons coming and, you know, injuring and killing off these um, kids one by one. And eventually Tommy realizes what's going on, he realizes that he's the cause of the dream demons coming to Earth, and he has to find a way to stop all this from happening. Um, and I must say, the ending to this movie, it actually kind of shocked me. I wasn't expecting it. And even Johnny was the first person to, I was the first person to tell Johnny that the ending was pretty shocking, so I'm kind of glad to say that. But my thoughts, for anybody who loves independent films, I must say, you will absolutely love this one. If you love Slaughter Tales, you will absolutely pee your pants, you will love this one so much. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um... If you're comparing this to Slaughter Tales, they're two different movies. Slaughter Tales was an anthology. This one's a um, regular movie. But the editing, I usually don't talk about editing in my reviews, but the editing is done so much better. I know he was um, grateful enough to receive some new editing equipment as well as some new camera equipment. So he's able to do a lot more things with this movie. And everything is just done so much smoothly. The picture compared to Slaughter Tales in this one is so much clearer. I believe he shot it in high definition. I'm not 100% sure, but the picture looks amazing. The editing is pretty much pinpoint perfect. And just everything about it. The music, I can't tell you enough how much I love this music. It kind of mixes with synthy, you know, classic, um, how do I say this, organ horror music mixed in with, you know, punk rock, which I absolutely love. The music, the soundtrack is phenomenal. I really, you know, it's probably going to be impossible for him to do. Well, nothing's impossible, but a little bit more harder to do. But I suggest, you know, with the actual DVD to put a soundtrack because the music I can't get enough of. I love the music. Um, now with Johnny Dickey, you obviously know that he's big into special effects and loves gore. Well, with this one, you will absolutely not be disappointed. The gore is amazing. The gore is perfect. You know, you have your Johnny Dickey gore, you know, kind of cheap special effects, but it is done ten times so much better than Slaughter Tales. The blood, there's more. The cuts, there's more. The decapitations, the decapitations, the decapitations, there's a few of, but all in the good style of Johnny Dickey, and I absolutely love it. If I had to rate this movie out, if I had to give this movie a rating, you know, I'm trying to be un as unbiased as I can, but tell you the truth, I have no problem with giving this movie a 9 to a 9.5 out of 10. You know, for any indie horror fan, anybody who loves, you know, like, DIY movies, then this is one I highly recommend you checking out when it gets released. 
when it, the release date is, once again, I'll be putting up a video letting you know. I'll have the links to everything, and I hope you guys pick it up because Johnny Dickey, he's one fantastic director and also one kick-ass dude. But anyway, guys, that was my review for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you like this review, um, definitely subscribe, like, comment, whatever you guys do. Um, once again, my name is Steven from Shock Extreme Productions, and until next time, see y'all later.